Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to make this um, 3D logo. As you can see with this Obey logo, it sort of twists in the middle as well. There's kind of a, a twist or a bend deform. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna need Cinema 4D for this, but it's not necessary because if you can extrude your logo or just have a 3D model of your logo, you can use that. And you're gonna need After Effects, of course, and you're gonna need Element 3D for this one. So let's get started with the tutorial. First, we're going to Cinema 4D. We're gonna go to File and then click on merge and then you want to uh, open up your obey uh, illustrate I'm, I'm gonna use the obey logo again so i'm gonna open up my illustrator file again with the paths of the logo you want to make sure this is an illustrator 8 file uh, otherwise it will not uh, open properly so i'm gonna open this and i'm gonna click on ok and here i have my file I'm going to open this group on the top right and just delete those outer paths because we don't really need those. Then I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to click on connect objects. Um, then I can delete this one. And now we have all the objects connected so we can just add one extrude nerve. And then I'm going to drag the paths onto the extrude thing. I'm going to go to object of the extrude and set this to 100 for my logo. I like this width. And then I'm going to go to caps and I'm going to just turn on the fill caps because it gives a very nice uh, small edge. I like that personally. Then same as last tutorial, you want to click on the extrude thing again and you want to set the type to quadrangles because this will fix a weird bug between Cinema 4D OBJ files and Element 3D. Just do that, set it to quadrangles and then we're going to go to file again and we're going to click on export and we're going to go to wavefront obj i'm gonna name my logo logo obey there we go and just click on ok right now we can close cinema 4d and um, back in after effects i'm gonna open a new project i'm gonna click a new composition just doesn't have to be the exact same but i'm gonna start with creating a new solid i'm gonna just name this 3d and then you want to type in element and it should already pop up there element and we're gonna drag this on the 3d layer and i'm gonna click on scene setup and i'm gonna click on import and i'm gonna import my logo and just click on ok there we go i don't know what happened for some reason it didn't uh, copy the edges but that's okay we don't need that i'm gonna go to presets and physical i'm just i'm gonna drag the metal diffused on there i personally really like this look i'm gonna mess around with the environment settings a little bit uh, until we have a very nice reflection all right i kind of like this this is nice one more thing i'm gonna turn down the glossiness a little bit to like 30 and i'm gonna turn down the environment multiplier to like 60 or something and i'm gonna click on okay and here we have my logo right now and one more thing i'm gonna do in the scene setup is just uh, make the logo a little bit smaller because otherwise it's way too big you can also do that in the element 3d uh, settings but i personally find it much easier to just do it in the scene setup okay so right now we're gonna work on the animation part and uh, we're gonna go to group one uh, because in if we click on scene setup our group folder this the obey logo is in group one and so we're gonna go to group one and we're gonna click on particle look and then we're gonna click on deform as you can see there are multiple settings here that we can use and i'm gonna click on twist i'm gonna enable the twist if we mess around with this you can see that it gets uh, twisted but you only want to mess around with the um the y twist and the face is basically a rotation and it's much easier to use the face instead of the rotation because it matches with the twist i'm going to play, click on a stopwatch for phase y and um, place a keyframe and then i'm gonna go to two seconds and place another one and basically we're gonna set this one to one i'm gonna uh, select the layer and press u and then select both keyframes and make a nice speed curve okay i like this curve it spins really nice um you can copy this speed curve and then i'm going to place a uh, and then i'm going to place a keyframe for the twist y uh, just by clicking on the stopwatch i'm gonna go to the middle and set this to 90 and never mind that's that's too much i'm gonna set it to 60 and then i'm gonna go to two seconds and set it to zero again if we now preview this you can see there's a really nice bend and twist and if you want you can also um, just select both of these and animate these go to the speed graph editor again and i'm going to um, change uh, the curves like this and this will make sure that your logo only spins in the very fast parts it kind of looks unnatural now but you just have to mess around with the settings until it looks good you can also add some uh, color correction some extra glow some grain like what i did so as i told some of you this was actually super easy to make i hope the tutorial wasn't too long please hit subscribe please hit the subscribe button the like button all of that stuff i would really Really appreciate it let's try and hit like a thousand subscribers by the end of maybe october november i don't know thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next video bye everyone